What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video not only I'm going to show you how you can pair your Pebble Steel with your Android or iPhone but also how you can set it up for the very first time because it requires a few steps. So let's check out what are those. So as you can see right now the Pebble is saying that I need to install Pebble app on my phone. So I'm going to demonstrate on an Android phone. However, the procedure is exactly same on uh, iPhone uh, 5S or any other iPhone. So in case of iPhone, you need to go to the App Store. In case of Android, you need to go to the Google Play Store and you need to install the Pebble Store app or Pebble app. So once you have uh, installed that app, you need to open that app. So right now you can see my phone is actually connected to the Sony smartwatch 2 as well as you can see in the notification shade and I have already installed the Pebble application so open the Pebble application and uh, let's set it up for the first time. So it is asking me to either create an account or login. So since I'm a new user so I'm going to click on I'm new user and it's going to ask me to enter my email address and other information. So let me enter that and I will be back. So I'm back. I've already entered the information. Now it is uh, trying to connect to the smartwatch Pebble Steel. So still uh, connecting. It's going to take a few seconds as it is displayed at the bottom. So it's back now. It is uh, now trying to pair as you can see it is searching for the pebble smartwatch and pretty soon it actually it's gonna find one as you can see now the pebble uh, watch is shown and now click the pebble watch and it will uh, try to connect and as you can see now it says uh, pairing with the xperia z1 compact and the code is shown on both of them press ok on the phone and press page up button on the pebble smartwatch so now it is connected now it will actually check for the updates as you can uh, see in a few moment here you go so it is now checking uh, for the updates you can uh, see on the watch and if you want you can uh, press the check now button but it's already checking so no need to press this button the update is available 2.0.1 now it's downloading the update and after downloading it's gonna install the update and as you can see we are almost done and it took only few seconds or probably a minute or so it was pretty quick and it's updating now and as you can see it's 100% done now and now it's gonna load the OS and the startup screen for the first time and you will be able to actually choose uh, certain watch faces and the applications to install on your Pebble before you run it for the very first time. As you can see the hello message or the welcome message on your Pebble smartwatch now you can uh, just press check now and it will actually take you to the pebble store to grab some apps and these are the watch faces install uh, whatever you want in addition to watch faces there are some uh, featured apps like the Evernote, the Foursquare, Yelp things like that so I'm gonna actually install a couple of uh, watch faces only and I'm not gonna install the apps at this moment press continue and then again uh, press continue and uh, you need to actually enable notifications press the enable button it has taken you to the accessibility options click on the pebble and turn on the pebble because uh, if you will not turn on then it will not enable the notifications 
so now enable gmail by clicking the button the enable button and it's gonna actually load the gmail and it's gonna enable gmail notifications on your pebble smartwatch and now you can actually test notifications you can test the notification for text message for phone call and email once you are done playing with it press continue then press done now setup is complete and uh, your smartwatch is ready just uh, tap on the phone screens for a uh, few times uh, just to get rid of the tutorial and if you are interested actually you can read whatever is written on your uh, smartwatch and now i can actually select the particular watch face that i want to see for the very first time on my watch so i like actually this one so let's click on this one and let's click the load button now it's actually installing that particular uh, watch face on the pebble steel and now it's almost done it is loaded fully and now the pebble app store will actually try to open for the first time and you can see the interface uh, which is actually same on ios and android these are actually the settings for the watch face that i have just installed you can access those settings by clicking the setting button on that particular watch face here you go and now it will show you all the settings you can uh, change different settings you can uh, change the temperature into fahrenheit or centigrade you can change the language you can set alarm and things like that and also you can actually set up uh, when you want to refresh your weather you can actually click on get apps and uh, you can install more apps on your uh, smartwatch or pebble steel actually the pebble steel has only eight slots so for any particular time you can only install eight uh, apps on your pebble steel that including the watch faces so it's not uh, too much of a room or flexibility but actually the thing is these apps are actually available on your smartphone and whenever you need to actually use a certain app and you want to install certain app on your uh, smartwatch you can actually load anytime you want and these are the list of the apps and the app store i personally wish that there should be actually more than eight slots for any given time so guys uh, this is how you pair your uh, pebble steel with your phone and you can set up your uh, pebble steel for the very first time and thanks for watching the video i hope uh, that you have liked it see you later take care and subscribe for more videos like that bye